Hello, welcome to an episode of Ibu Buses. In today's episode, the producer has challenged me to recreate Lao Cheng Ti, and that's Old Chunky, the iconic curry puff. I think it's like my childhood snack. I've been eating it every time when I go to the bus interchange, and then it's always there. This is one episode that I'm really not confident in because curry puff. Eh. I'm looking forward to beating. <laughs> The curry puff, but we'll try and we'll see how it goes. Let's start cooking. So for the curry puff, there is two sides. We have the pastry and we also have the filling. So we're going to start with the pastry first because you have to put it in the fridge for 30 minutes. The ingredients we need for the pastries are flour, butter, water, salt. So we're going to mix the flour and the butter together first and your butter has to be rock solid. So you want to squish it. It'll be better if you can cut it into small little dice so it'll be easier to mix with the flour. Okay, once your mixture reach this kind of fine breadcrumbs texture, you can add your water. So over here we have 60 grams of water, but we're gonna add in one tablespoon at a time. Yeah, just keep doing this until it forms a dough. So one tip is you cannot knead them, but instead just press them together to form a disc. As usual, I always forget to add salt. So half a tablespoon, oh sorry, half a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of salt. Please remember to add it in when it was the breadcrumb texture. If not, it's never too late, lah. right? So just roll it into a little ball, cling wrap it, and put it in the fridge for 30 minutes. Let's go. So these are the ingredients we need for the filling. We need onions, garlic, potato, water, chicken, curry powder, curry leaves, sugar, Chili powder and salt. Okay, so spatula, grab your onion. How do you know if your onion is done? It will look a bit translucent. Next up, we will add the garlic. Put your potato seeds. So after stir frying, we're gonna add one and a half tablespoon of curry powder, and then we also will mix in our curry leaves. So after adding the curry powder and the curry leaves in, we want to cook the potato. So we're gonna add in some water, we're going to let it simmer. While waiting, what we're going to do is grab the chicken and the remaining curry powder and then you're going to mix them together. It's been 20 minutes and our potato has softened. Then next, we'll add in our chicken. So we're going to add in the sugar, the chilli powder, so you get the oomph, a little oomph, and salt. And then mix it in, stir, we're gonna put a little bit more salt. I'm gonna eye power that. So we have a chef here, Chef Larry. Try. If the potato is soft. <laughs> approve, approve. Um, so we're gonna set this aside. It's best not to wrap it hot. So we want this to cool down for around 30 minutes before wrapping it. So over here we have the partially cracked egg, thanks to Larry's head. So Sufan actually wrote an article on egg recipes, and one of them is Teaching us how to cook a perfect hard-boiled egg should not have the grey ring around your egg yolk. So later when we cut, right, you guys can see what I mean. Ta-da! Can you see? No grey ring. Hey, good job, producer. Producer then prop. She did it. If you remember that their eggs are in wedges, so we're going to cut this into eight. So we're done with our pastry, we're done with our egg, we're done with our filling. Now we need to put everything together. Flour the surface. Make sure your hands are dry. Grab this, a cutter, a knife, whatever you have at home. So the portion over here makes around six puffs. So we're gonna cut it into six. So we're gonna half it first. You have to separate into six even dough. What you can do is you can measure them using a weighing scale. If not, just eye power. So roll them into a ball before flattening them up. So when it's wide enough, just grab your bowl and then cut it. Cut the sides, just in case. Remove the spare dough. Ta-da! You have a round, round circle. As generous as you want. But don't too much lah. I mean, if not, later cannot wrap. Yeah, so have a balance of 
um, chicken and potato. Then lastly, don't forget the egg. So once you're done, what you're going to do is close it. I'm going to cap it together. And then we're going to fold it. Pinch. Pinch. You want your centre dough to be slightly thicker than the one outside. If not, um, if it's evenly thin, right, you realise that there might be hole forming when you put in the filling. Yeah, so the centre to be slightly thicker than the ones at the side. And then you repeat this process for five other. So we are here at our final step and it is frying our curry puffs. So we're going to fry it at 160 degrees Celsius. Over here we have the thermometer. Three, two, one. Alright, so we're going to fry it and continuously flip it so that it doesn't burn. Fry, fry, fry. I bet like the old chunky lady will also stand at that. Let's eat Curry puff ah. Okay, chili. Pasta what you want? Alright, and we are done with our very own curry puff. Look at how amazing they look. Alright, now for the reveal. Ooh. Ooh. Not that bad. Wow. Alright, honestly right, the crust, we did not reach the buttery consistency as how I remember Ochanki to be. The filling though, I think we aced it, it's really damn good. The potato is soft, the chicken is still pretty tender, it's not dry even though we use chicken breast. Eh, hey, really nice yeah. Wow. So now we're done cooking, and as usual, we'll bring it to the studio and compare it to the OG Ochanki. Fight! Curry smell. But all the curry puffs smell the same, right? <laughs> wow, wow, wow! I can feel the the curly whirly portion, which is this side. And it's actually a bit soft on the inside if I when I feel it. So I expect a lot of like meat, a lot of feeling. Okay, this is familiar. Hmm. Oh. I bite it, I'm like, wow, this texture is how I remember old Chunky's curry puff to be like, and I like it. Nice and flaky. Oh, the curry is very nice. It smells very fragrant. And the chicken is more tender than I expected. There's a little bit of moisture to the skin, which is what I really like. And then the flavor is not too overpowering, it's not too spicy for me. Taste wise, from the smell, I thought it was. I thought that the curry chicken part, right, is it will be more like flavorful. The pastry feels a bit flat though. It doesn't have that many layers. It's quite like the old chunky's one, but the crust feels a bit different, like the texture of the crust. Woo! <laughs> this smells a lot more buttery. Uh, feels a little firmer to the touch. Almost the same, right? Oh my gosh. But the, but the skin is definitely different ah. But the taste... Taste can fight Smells... Oh! Smells oilier Oh but it does smell a bit sweeter so I don't smell the... The curry and the chicken as strongly as the other one mm. Actually this one tastes nicer Got more crust taste compared to the meat taste I like this one Okay why is that? Because there's more butter taste, and I'm a huge sucker for butter. I like it when something tastes very buttery and salty. So this has a lot more taste than this in my opinion. I prefer the first one as a whole because most importantly, the curry taste itself is, is there. 
But in the second one, it's not even mild. Eh. It's almost not there though, to be honest. Just one bite, I'm able to taste both the chicken and the potato easily. But for the second one, all I eat is a big chunk of tough meat, tough chicken meat. This curry is a bit different from the other one. <laughs> I think we right one. I prefer the first one as a whole because most importantly, the curry taste itself is, is there. Second one. The filling here is tastier than the <laughs> option one. I prefer this one. It's more flavorful lah. It packs more of a punch. This one. I think I prefer this one. I swear, this is not rigged eh. This is okay. Oh my god, where's Ting? She needs to be here for this moment! Yay! You did it! What? Tang Jack! Oh! Hey! Okay, fine, okay, fine. There's a lot more texture to it compared to this curry puff. But honestly, as I was eating just, just now, right, this was totally not what I had in, <laughs> in mind. I feel that the best curry puff that can come out of this, right, is if the crust is old chunky, but the inside is ebook. Ah. I think I like the, the old chunky one better because of the filling. I actually did like the ebook's pastry side. So I think the ebook one is less gelat. What's the result? Two is the four. Huh? So I four. No, you two. To be honest, right? It is tough. Very tough. Okay, so there's the filling and there's the pastry, right? The filling is so easy to ace. Like really, I think our filling is 10 out of 10. The similarity is, is there. It's just the pastry. I think the pastry is so hard to ace. I think after this whole experience, right? It's not hard to make curry puff but it's very hard to ace a curry puff that tastes like old chunky but I would say the recipe we trial and make it is it's nice for maybe family gatherings or for picnics as what I always say in every episode it's something fun you can do with your family <laughs> but maybe not so much of friends because I don't think curry puff is the first thing that will come to our mind when it comes to cooking in the kitchen Maybe like brownies, banana cake, or bus cheesecake. Yeah. Thank you for watching this episode of Ebook vs. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and watch more of our other videos over there. Goodbye! Curry buff. <laughs>